Hi, I'm A1C Kaposi, and I'm making it my mission to try out every job that the Rhode Island National Guard has to offer. What you're about to watch is me training with the Rhode Island National Guard's military police and RTI. If you like what you're about to see, make sure you drop a comment on the next job you want me to do. Today, I met up with the Rhode Island National Guard's Master Sergeant Natale, who is the Chief Instructor at the 243rd Regiment RTI. He's in the military police and the primary non-lethal weapons instructor for the Rhode Island Guard. After breaking down how the taser works and why military police go through this training and the importance of it, I was then tased. About 15 minutes later, I was put through the OC spray training course. Taser, taser, taser. So could you explain a little bit about what you have in your hand right now? Sure, what I have here in my hand is the X26 taser. Uh, everybody's seen uh, someone on YouTube, hopefully not a family member, be tased before. What, what this tool does is it delivers um, a very low amperage but high voltage electric current into the human body and it disrupts your, um, your muscle groups. Okay. So it, it, it taps into the normal electric current that is going through your body and disrupts it and causes a, a very large neuromuscular incapacitation. What does that mean? Um, it, it, uh, it hurts, there is some pain involved, however it, it locks up and contracts and constricts a large set of muscle groups and it stops a subject, a violent subject, mm -hmm. from continuing to hurt themselves or someone else, especially the officer. Turn it on, put the laser where it belongs and press the trigger and release it. Okay. It will deliver a five second charge with that electricity and it's 50,000 volts for 0.0023 amps. So very, very low injury, okay. but a lot of juice. Right. Okay? Yep. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Should we wear a phone there, Terry? Just don't hit it. If you do, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, just, just remember where the bottom laser is, okay. is where, the, uh, where the laser the is, bottom is where the bottom probe is gonna go. So don't put the laser on All right, the I can hit it purposely. Okay. <laughs> you so just hold it like a pistol, put the safety off, Okay. Find out where the laser is. There you go. Oh. You went up into the woods, right? Okay. Yep. And then press the trigger when you're ready. Right there. Yep. All right, and it'll count down, and it's delivering that energy. Okay. And I just put it on safe. Awesome. Very good. Great job. And why do you put your MPs through this training? What is the why is this training so mission essential for the MPs to know how it feels? So the, the training benefit for both of these, both this and the OC pepper spray, is that you as the individual officer, by, uh, by being tased or pepper sprayed, feel the effects of what that subject that you may use them on mm -hmm. is feeling. Um, it also explains and gives you physical evidence that they might be able to still fight through these types of tools. There are times where, you know, a subject will move because mm -hmm. nothing is ideal. No one's going to stand there with their friends holding them. Yeah. And say, hey, can you tase me and take they're me to jail? They're running most right? of the time, right? A lot of times they're running. Yeah. You know, you want to be, you want to be cognizant of if they're uh, on an elevated position, like standing on a balcony, or if they're in full tilt run. You know, they're going to turn into a two by four and and probably bust their teeth out and slide into home base, okay? okay? So it, it, you're, you're getting the opposite desired effect than what you want, right? So, mm -hmm. so you're trying to prevent injury, but you might cause an injury with this, okay. depending on the situation you find yourself in. But I think, you know, knowing some of those things, how it delivers, uh, what type of, you know, um, sensation that you'll feel, yeah. how far the spread is for that. But if you were just to miss, and not get that connection, you're looking for a response from that person's body. Yeah. If you don't see them do this, then you know that you don't have the connection. Okay. And then you gotta start thinking outside the box, what do I need to do? Do I need to make that connection? Do I need to go to something else? And I know you've been hit with it before. I have, yes. So can you tell me a little bit about what I'm about to experience? Sure, absolutely. So, so in this cartridge uh, is two one quarter inch basically uh, straight fishing hook looking probes. They kind of look like very small harpoons. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are uh, attached to very thin wires through which the electric current will pass from the device through the, the cartridge itself. 
uh, those probes will come out. And generally the rule of thumb is uh, for every seven feet of distance that I have from the subject, mm -hmm. I'll get about a, a 12 inch probe spread. Okay. So about 10 feet is about a max, uh, about an ideal, about 18 inches or so. Uh, what we try to do is split the hemispheres. What, what, what does that mean? So between your upper and lower torso to incorporate a large group of muscles. Uh, the closer the probe spread is, there's only a small amount of muscles that are incorporated mm -hmm. and that are that are constricted. So I want to spread that probe spread out. Um, you'll feel um, uh, a pain sensation, um, not really um, electrocution. You know, if you've ever you know messed with the wiring in your house or something, um, but it's um, it's very similar to a very high aerobic exertion. Okay. Um, you know, so like I did a PT test. Yeah, exactly. Maybe not the Air Force one. Uh, eh. I mean, I have Maybe to Maybe the ACFT. Okay, I'm doing that like next week, so okay. I can compare it then. Got it. Okay. I'll probably be in the same pain level too. Sure. <laughs> uh, so, if you don't have any other questions. All right, awesome, Master Sergeant. I don't know if I'm ready, but I have to do this. My captain wants to see a finished product, so. Okay, absolutely. All, All right. right, so I'll, I'll have my, uh, my two NCOs help you in. Okay. All right, Brittany, you ready? Taser, taser, taser. Do that real fast. How you doing? Good. Hurt, right? Yes, my foot. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna try to stretch the skin and pull the probe out, yes, okay? Sergeant. All right, just stay still. There's no more electric current that's gonna come through. It just kind of got caught on your t-shirt. How do you feel? These, these are things that they want to capture. Your, uh, your viewing audience. It was, I've never ever felt something like that before in my life. And I don't think I ever want to feel it again. Okay. It was hot and it went through like my whole body. It went through your ponytail. Hold on. Okay. Okay. That one came out. Well, I'll show you what the, the probe looks like that actually came out. So it kind of looks like a harpoon, right? Yeah. And it's attached to those very thin wires in which the oh, 50,000 volts okay. of current goes through, yeah. Um, and you know, you could, you could b basically reach out and touch somebody with this device about the 25 feet, depending on the, the cartridge size, so. I felt it, it was down Yeah, here. so I caught one up here, yeah. you know, kind of right, went right through your ponytail, and then the other one was down in the small of your back. And it incorporated all of those back muscles. So you think about your lats, you know, your scapulas, all those muscles that are incorporated in that, they really contracted them all. And you saw your whole body kind of turn yeah, into a I, turn into a I plank. To, like, yeah. Like, so, so if you were trying to hurt me mm -hmm. or hurt someone else, do you think you'd be able to do that? Oh, absolutely not. No. Yeah, and okay. and it's not just the the fear factor or the pain factor. Uh -huh. Were you able to do anything besides make a silly noise? <laughs> no. Yeah. So My that that's kind of the design of this seized. thing. Yeah. But you're talking, walking yeah. fine. You know, it doesn't cause you any type of permanent damage. So, you know, it's a good tool. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was great. You necessary. did a great job. Thank you did a great necessary. job. Good job. Thank Good you. job. You know, it's not just a mathematical equation. Yeah. You're thinking about if I do A plus B is C. You know, someone's acting up or is uh, threatening or uh, aggressive or fighting. I use this tool. I might not always get that end result. Uh -huh. So I got to think of other things. You know? Okay. Well, always on your toes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. All right. OC spray? Oh, well, I guess. Brittany. Come on, Brittany. Oh, my God. <laughs> you want to say anything to your mom, Posey? Mom, I don't know why you convinced me.